CEO Roderick from Create the Difference. We're gonna to talk to you today about pin up versus pin down. Now what we've done is we've actually only changed the pin up to pin down second angle of these layouts. So the pin to positive access point is the exact same distance, which happens to be five inches. And the layouts on both these balls, this ball right here, the pin up ball is actually 45 by five by 30. And the pin down ball is 45 by five by 75. So the 75 is what's making it pin down. The 30 is what's making it pin up. That's the only difference between these two bowling balls. We didn't move the pin around because if we did, we'd have two variables to try to understand instead of just one. So this is a pin up ball that's at five inches away. This is a pin down ball that's at five inches away. And that first angle on both those balls is 45 degrees. Now we're gonna get some performance data using Specto. Dustin's gonna throw each of the balls down the lane and we're gonna watch and see how the performance is. We'll start with the pin up ball first. All right, so we'll be able to take a peek at some of the Specto data here. Specto data is popping up and letting us kind of see what, we, what we're getting right now. So one of the cool things about Specto is we're gonna be able to see uh, the lay down point, the launch angle, and RPM to speed ratio is a way for us to verify that Dustin's throwing the shot the same. We'll also look at the break point board, break point distance, the roll distance and uh, the total hook is, that kind of matters, right? That 18.1 total hook kind of matters a lot. Entry angle and then the entry board. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the second ball, which is the pin down ball, which is 45 by five by 75. And we're gonna watch it go down the lane too. Got him a little strike right there. Now look, this is awesome because now what we can do is we can take a look at the Specto data and really, really compare these two bowling balls. You can see that second bowling ball was thrown less than four tenths of an inch different at the laydown point. The launch angle is one tenth of a degree. So basically these balls were thrown the exact same. This is a very, very good comparison between pin up and pin down. So going across the board, speed, uh, RPM to speed ratio is the same. The break point board uh, was two tenths. So I mean, that's nothing. Um, the break point distance was one foot. The both balls, neither ball got into a roll. The total hook was 19.3 for the pin down and 18.1 for the pin up. So a slight difference, right? A little more than a board difference in total hook. The entry angle was also slightly more, right? From 2.8 to 3.1 uh, and the entry board was a little bit higher. So here's what's funny. When you're looking at this data on your screen, it doesn't look that different, right? That's because the truth is, it's not that different. We're using a high quality, high caliber type of technology to even be able to see the difference between these two bowling balls. And obviously there isn't a whole lot of difference. Now, if we take a look at some of the flare potential of the bowling ball, the flare on the pin down ball is a little bit different as you can kind of see there than the pin up ball. So there's a little bit of difference in the way the ball flares. One of the big concerns people run into a lot of times with pin down balls is they worry about it clipping the hole. And the reason being is because as you move this pin down, the bow tie point, which is the spot where the flare actually crosses, begins to come down as well. And sometimes you can actually get it so low that it runs over the finger holes and that causes problems. Whereas with the pin up ball, that bow tie point is way back over here. And because of that, you don't have to worry about uh, hitting the holes because the flare goes this way. And on this ball, the flare goes this way too. But that bow tie point, it goes, goes from left to right, which can clip the hole if you bring the pin down too much. So at the end of the day, is there a difference between a pin up ball and a pin down ball? According to Specto, there's a small difference. But is that something that the average consumer is gonna see? Mm, that's debatable, probably not. Anyway, now you have a little more information. As always, if you have some more questions, you can go to, you know, check out our website, man, ctdbowling.com. If you like this type of content, maybe consider joining our staff. You go to ctdbowling.com, click the little three lines, you'll see staff options pop up click that regional staff link. It's free to join, cost you nothing. You'll be able to get extra insight and discussion um, on stuff just like this, as well as other topics related to bowling. With that being said, on behalf of Dustin Zander, I am Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.